Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. The last game review of 2019. At least for the regular season, right? Because we're playing baseball in October, baby. We got five days until we get to go beat up on the Yankees. This is going to be fun. But what a season it has been. I mean, not only have you seen like six different location changes behind me, but we have seen this team go from absolute garbage, right? I mean, absolute garbage in 2014, 2015. They were bad. We've seen them rebuild to this moment here. I mean, this was still the Indians division, and we came in and we took it this year, right? We beat them where it, when it mattered, where and when it mattered, right? That's that's what's important for this season is we have overcome everything to this moment right here, the Twins AL Central champions. That's the first part. That's the most important part. Of course, they did that a couple days ago. But who, I mean, who would have thought? I mean, I guess, like, I even, I said at the beginning of the year, we're probably going to win the division. We have so much talent this year. You guys agreed. But who would have thought 101 wins? I mean, there was a lot of Twins fans even that said, this is still Cleveland's division. They've, they've still got a ton of good pitching. They've still got players that they're bringing in. We might still lose this division. And what did we come out and do? Won 101 games. I still think we could have won more. I mean, I still think we probably could have won 110 games this year easily if Baldelli wasn't a rookie manager. And that's nothing against Baldelli. You've got to learn. But, like, just a couple of mistakes that I think he made, it's fine. He'll. I hope he'll learn for the playoffs and for next year. But 101 wins. I said 93 to 95, and you guys thought I was crazy. <laughs> um, you guys thought that... We were going to win the division, sure, at 90 games, 89 games. But what did we do? We came out and, and absolutely destroyed expectations. Um, who really cares about this game? We did lose. Uh, we actually had a six-game winning streak coming into this game. And if we would have won today, it would have been seven, which would have been our longest winning streak of this year and last year, uh, and maybe even previous years before that. But... Uh, who really cares about today's game? I mean, it was a bunch of September call-ups playing, you know, bench players, get them into the game, which is totally fine. I 100% agree because you've got to let, you know, your guys rest, most importantly, that are going to play on Friday and in the ALDS. But also, these guys have earned a spot. These guys like Wade, Miller, Torres, you know, Cave even coming up uh, halfway through the year and, and being part of this team now. And Lamar coming over from the Braves and Osteo battling injury and then coming back and doing well. All of these guys have earned a spot and I think that they deserve to play today and they did good. I mean, almost all of them did really good. So uh, just a fantastic season for them, for this team, for the coaching staff. And where are we? Top of the division, like I said right top of the division but also something that maybe a lot of you guys care about because you guys like home runs the minnesota twins the 2019 minnesota twins have set the record for most home runs in a season and there will be nobody how do i want to say this the minnesota twins are alone at the top as the champions of the home run ball they have hit 307 home runs this year. The Yankees hit 306. We hit number 268 first. We hit 300 first. And now we can say we have the most home runs ever by a major league ball club in 2019. That is absolutely insane. And we hit three more today. Uh, I know I'm just kind of rambling on at this point, but we hit three more today. Crone, Cave, and and Castro all of those guys had not hit a home run in September that's 29 days now Crone's been battling injury Cave has kind of gone cold a little bit with the home run ball at least and Castro hadn't hit a home run in like two months but they all did it today that's great because Crone hit his 25th that's six players with 25 home runs a lot of people were saying you know the Yankees are a big deal because they have 13 or 14 players with 10 home runs or more who cares because we have six players with 25 home runs or more that is awesome uh cave hit his eighth home run just great I mean I would have liked to see him get 10 to be honest but 
That's great. That is absolutely insane as well that he, you know, he had 13 last year, right? And he played, I don't know how much he played last year, about half, would you say half the games? Maybe even more than that with Buxton being out last year. Came in, played just under half the games this year, went on a tear, and then just kept it going. He kept it going, stayed hot, maybe not with the home runs, but he did pretty well. He's done well on the field. He is a very good backup. And yeah, he had his eighth home run today. They actually went back-to-back, Crone and uh, Cave, in the first inning. And then Castro, his 13th home run of the year in the fifth inning, which uh, did give us the lead at the time. But it just wasn't enough. We got walked off. Who really cares? Like, you guys aren't here for the game review. You're here for me. Right? Right? Just kidding. Um, but we're going to just talk about stories for, for pretty much the rest of this game. Um, because, like, who cares that we were walked off? I mean, right? I am a little upset. I'm a little bit upset. Just a little bit. Because um, I have OCD and I hate looking at 101 and 61. That just kind of makes me sad. Like, I like even numbers. So, uh, 162 would have been great or 102 and 60 would have been even better um but 101 and 60 that's insane like i said yesterday i think uh roy smalley i believe was in the booth um he said you're gonna win 60 games you're gonna lose 60 games that's just a given well we lost 61 gosh darn it why couldn't we just lose 60 that's just a joke but honestly you know like i said baldelli probably could have won 110 games this year if he wasn't a rookie manager if he knew what he was doing right out of the get-go instead of maybe messing with the pitching a little bit and that's not a knock on him but he'll learn and that's going to make us even better next year i hope but really a really good job by him and the rest of the team 101 wins that's insane that is absolutely insane. 101 of these videos have been wins. Absolutely insane. But let's talk about the rest of the hitting quick. Um, Cave also hit a double, which was cool. Um, and was that the inning? Yeah, we didn't score in that inning, which made me really sad. Was that the seventh inning or eighth inning? I believe it was the eighth. Uh, nope, it was the seventh. Seventh, it was not the seventh. Was it the sixth inning? Oh, yeah, it was the sixth inning. Okay, yeah, we still didn't score in it, but Sano was hit by a pitch, and then Cave doubles, but there's two outs, right? And we can't always get two out hits. Um, well, well, Cave's double was a two out hit, but then the strikeout, eh, who cares? We did hit the home run in the fifth, and then we got a couple of runs in the first as well, um, which is it's just still fine. But uh, then for the rest of the guys, you know, Wade 0 for 4 today. Okay. Uh, Polanco 0 for 2. Okay. Uh, Polanco actually was the only reason he started this game was because of, uh, was because they wanted to see if he could get to 300 batting average and he had to get three hits today. I think go three for three or three for four. And, uh, he didn't, he went over two. So they took him out. Ostadio also went over two. Sano one for two with a run. Uh, then Lamar 0 for one. Crone one for four with his home run, two RBIs. Cave two for four with his home run, one RBI, one run. Scope 0 for 4, Castro 1 for 3 with his home run, uh, Torres 1 for 3, and Miller 0 for 3. Uh, but let's talk about the pitching for the last two minutes or so, because this was really kind of cool. Um, let me look on Twitter. What was it? I think I think it was. We had pitched 100 or 1,566 um, innings or so. I can't find it. Um, we had pitched like 1,456 innings. We needed nine strikeouts today to get to uh, a place where we need we I think it was 9. It was like 9 strikeouts and we have thrown more strikeouts than innings pitched this year, which is absolutely insane. It would have been the first time in Twins history we threw 7 strikeouts, which I think is one strikeout less than the amount of innings we pitched this year. Insane. That's really crazy. Uh, especially if you, I don't know what you consider an inning, if you consider a half inning an inning, because yesterday we only played six and a half innings, but we pitched the top of the sixth inning. So I don't know, or the bottom of this. Nope, just kidding. Just kidding. That's stupid. I shouldn't have said that. But um, yeah, well, let's just forget about what I just said. But yeah, th that was pretty cool that we could have been the first, this could have been the first Twins team in history, even with all the pitching struggles that we talked about this year. Still could have had more strikeouts than innings pitched this season. That's crazy. But Perez, he threw five strikeouts. Also had three walks and gave three runs. Not very good. Went five and two-thirds innings, though. He got through it. Um, you know, one home run. It's not his greatest performance, but he kept us in it. Uh, Gibson, one out. Literally threw, what, two pitches? 
Seven pitches, <laughs> a little off there. Got the one out, struck him out. Uh, Stewart, one inning, clean inning. Thorpe gave up one, uh, two hits, one run um, in his one out that he needed. He did strike the guy out. Romero, two outs, looked good today. Uh, and Gratterall got walked off, got one out, gave up a couple of hits, and uh, that was it. So that's the game review. I know it wasn't great. I'm sorry. I'll get back into it for the playoffs, but... Just a fantastic season. That was mainly the point of this video, especially since we lost. Fantastic season. It's over. Really sad. But uh, we get playoff baseball now. This is going to be fun. This is going to be so much fun. I hope we can just crush the Yankees like 17 to nothing in all three games. And then move on. I mean, that's that's what it's going to be. That's what it's probably going to take is 17 runs maybe uh, in, in uh, Yankee Stadium. But we'll see, guys. This is going to be so much fun. I hope, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this season because it was so much fun to do these videos, to talk to you guys. And we're not done yet. We're not done yet. We still got at least three more games to play. And um, we'll go from there. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.